Senator, good to have you on NJ Business Beat once again. Uh, Rhonda, very nice to be here. Thank you very much. And it's nice actually to talk about this subject with you, and that is STEM education. You are a proponent of it, and you actually sponsored a bill that became law that established a pilot program for robotics in New Jersey schools. Why did you decide to kind of hone in on improving STEM education in our state? Look what we've just been through for the past two years. We went through, you know, gone through a pandemic, and now, you know, people who understand science were able to come up with, you know, manufacturing, come up with the research, come up with the vaccine, come up with the testing. And then you look at, um, we have a workforce that, you know, 11 million jobs in the country that are not filled. So a lot of those could obviously uh, may have to be filled by uh, new technology. And when you take a look at these teams, they are so, I, I, I can't tell you, it's so exciting. And we know that this is, and you know, it's not, you know, they're, they're learning all these kinds of things. I'm learning all these different kinds of things. And quite frankly, um, it's, it's something that uh, certainly our, uh, our workforce, our, our companies, our economy needs. I can feel your enthusiasm for this coming across the screen here. Um, Senator, where is the program now in terms of has it been set up? Where all is this happening? And what, what do we expect to learn three years from now once the pilot program concludes? It's a three-year pilot program. Um, you know, I, I, I think by the end of year one, people are going to see how good, you know, how, how good it is. But it's a three-year pilot program. They're working on the grant uh, application process right now. And there's going to be a number of schools, number of school districts, uh, going to have up to 12 school districts, some in, some in the south, some in the central, some in the north. And they're going to apply for these, um, you know, for these grants. Senator, you know while I have you, I'm going to sneak in a budget question here, so it will have to do with STEM education. Do we adequately fund science and technology in the state, or do we need to put more state funding behind that? Well, you know, Ron, I, I, I do think that, obviously, we have a lot of state funding, and it's up to each of the, obviously, the school districts as to where that funding goes. But I, I think we can all, and I think the, uh, New Jersey has done a pretty good job of trying to emphasize you know, STEM, technology, you know, the science, technology, engineering, math. Also, I'm big, big on the performing arts as well, because when you can have, you know, people who are able to, you know, get up and demonstrate in front of other, you know, other, you know, crowds and people, uh, that means, you know, so much to be, a, that, that's such an asset that people can do. But I do think that concentrating and doing more with uh, those kind of science, technology, engineering, math, you know, is, is, uh, you know, I, I think something that New Jersey has been focused on, and I think it's something we have to continue to focus on. And if somebody says we don't have enough funding going in there, I'm all I'm I'm all ears for for that because obviously it's 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 the way of the future. It's uh, our economy depends upon it immensely. I think our national security depends upon it in, immensely. Senator, always a pleasure to speak with you. Thank you for your time. Rhonda, thank you very much. Thanks for watching. For more clips and episodes of NJ Business Beat, subscribe to the NJ Spotlight News YouTube channel.